Today we are tackling a challenge that is common when preparing message data. We have dates and products mixed in a single column and we need to split them apart. It's a great task for anyone starting with Power Query. There are multiple ways to handle this, but let's walk through a straightforward approach. First, let's import our table into Power Query. Once it is loaded, we'll get a clear look at the structure. Notice that when a date appears in the first column, the second column is empty. That's an important clue for us. We can use this pattern to separate our dates. To do this, let's create a new custom column. Type if column 2 is null, then column 1, else null. Now we need to fill the empty cells in this new column with the dates above. To do this, go to the Transform tab and select Fill Down. This action fills each cell with the date above it, giving each product its associated date. Next, we need to remove any rows where the value is missing in the second column. Just use the filter to remove empty rows. Now we've left with a neat list of products, their quantities and their corresponding dates. To finish up, rename the columns so they are clear and descriptive. If you like, you can also rearrange them by dragging the headers. At this point, you might also set the data types for each column, like making sure the date column is recognized as a date format. And that's it. We've quickly and effectively separated dates from products using a simple approach in Power Query. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.